Welcome back to News Check and thanks for keeping us company. And today we are discussing matters, uh, Kabuchai and Matungu by elections. Remember, tomorrow uh, starting 5 a.m. or uh, the 63 and 56,000 registered voters are expected to cast their ballots in the by-election. Remember, we are live from the Broadcasting House. We are also live on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, and also on our KBC app. And joining me in studio is a governance expert, Churchill Saoke. And before we, we took that short break, ANC leaders, ANC leader Musali Mudavadi did talk about quite some serious allegations, talking about county officials, even uh, mentioned the governor of Kakamega being part of uh, the group that want to skew the elections and talk about even the IT guy. Perhaps, uh, Churchill, we can, uh, we can touch on that. Those are quite some serious allegations. Indeed. I talked about he has, he has reached out to mm. IEBC, mm. and uh, if nothing changes by tomorrow, he's talking about going to the EACC and other, mm. other agencies. And indeed, those are extremely grave allegations, grave allegations at this time. Mm -hmm. And uh, which touches on the integrity of the process, mm -hmm. and 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 I think that uh, it's good that he has had, uh, he has highlighted some of those issues and raised them with the respective agencies. Mm -hmm. I mean that's extremely civil for a leader. Yes. The the worst that he would have done is to is to mobilize people to go and beat those people. So I think he has done a very civilized. He's taken a very civilized responsibility. And so it's up to some of those agencies to, to uptake the allegations that have been raised by, by the ANC leader and mm -hmm. ensure that the process is, follows the due process of the law and, 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 and those that are culpable are brought into the book. Because you see, mm -hmm. the moment you're even talking about aspects of IT, mm -hmm. yeah. that's, that's, very, that's very serious. Yes. It's very, very serious. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, and perhaps what are some of the factors that are going to play out in the by-election? Looking at, uh, <laughs> first of all, perhaps we can, we can touch on Matungu, where uh, the, the widow of the former MP, uh, Justice Morunga, is expected also to square it out with his stepson. Yes in uh, tomorrow's by-election. Mm -hmm. And something unique is that they are, all the two of them, uh, uh, actually want to be elected on an independent ticket. You know, this is, this is very interesting. Some that, affairs. Eh? <laughs> Some affairs. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting that politics now has gotten, mm -hmm. the politics from the home has now gotten outside. Mm -hmm. And by the way, just even before I, I, I delve into that, mm -hmm. sometimes these things are manifestations also of what happens within the home. Yes. When the moment you see the moment you see um, uh, families mm -hmm. becoming political rivals, it means that even within the home as well, mm -hmm. they are rivals. Uh -huh. So it's it's a projection of that. So, uh -huh. but then that being so, um, there are a lot of things that are gonna t uh, play uh, in terms of determining the mm -hmm. election of the of the of the of the Matuku by election and mm -hmm. one of them of course the, is the political party which is very key mm -hmm. remember that this is a constituency that is a little bit slightly a little bit uh, metropolitan in nature because it also has people from the other side of, of uh, draws also some other people from uh, from the Luanyanza who also come from the, who also are domiciled in in the in Matungu, and intermarriages are very is there's a lot of intermarriages there, mm -hmm. and as a result, therefore, you will you will find that in Kakamega County, the governor is really interested in holding and being the key person, being mm -hmm. the kingpin mm -hmm. of that county. And perhaps because he's an official of is uh, a because, top official because of the ODM a top party. Of, yeah, exactly because ah. he's a top official of the ODM party, mm -hmm. and. He also has a projection of being the kingpin of Western Kenya, and in the hope that he might be able, being that he's the deputy a party leader of ODM, he can be able to galvanize the support base of, mm -hmm. of Railers after his exit, mm -hmm. if he will exit. Mm -hmm. And and so he, this this really is um, this really is a very important contest for him. So even when you see him getting his county machineries down to campaign, mm -hmm. it's a do or die for him as well. Because mm -hmm. maybe his party boss has told him, we got to deliver this, mm -hmm. got to deliver this election. Mm -hmm. But then the ANC is also really interested in countering that mm -hmm. and projecting himself that, you know what, I'm not mm -hmm. that, I'm not just a kingpin of Iga County. And now I'm now getting into the bedroom of my political rival, who is who, who is 
uh, who is the governor of Kakamega County. Uh -huh. And so in terms of political leverage, mm -hmm. I am above because in the ultimate end, you know, when, when you look at the, what uh, uh, the gentleman is saying, uh, Atwoli has been crying for this lawyer unity, mm -hmm. who will be the lawyer kingpin. There yes. is there's a war between, there's that war between the Mudavadi and, and, and Wetangu, not Wetangula, mm -hmm. and the, the governor for Kakamega, yes, which, is, which is, yes, yes, Oparanya. So that election, the, what is at stake is really the kingmanship. Mm -hmm. of Western Kenya. Mm -hmm. And so so those are things that are also likely to bring into play mm -hmm. in terms of uh, in terms of the the election. Some of these other independent candidates are likely to divide some of the votes. Mm -hmm. They're likely to divide some of the votes. And, 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 and before we, we talk about, uh, because um, the, the independent candidates of course play a key role yeah. in <coughs> the outcome of the, the uh, election, his allegations could they stir some political waters uh, in Western? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It could stir political waters. Mm -hmm. Because you see, it, 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 it's, it's a, and, in, and by the way, we might also want to look at it in terms of is it also a ploy? Because, you know, it could mm -hmm. be wanting also to create a scenario mm -hmm. where, you know, you're not looking at the, you're looking at the, 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 the idea of working from the reverse psychology of, of, of being, of being a, being, 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 being the, the, the one who is, who mm. is, who is being beaten, mm. so that you get the, the tears of, you get the tears votes. Mm -hmm. So that could also be a possibility, but we are not saying the allegations could be very true, mm. and the agencies must take into account of that. But then down into the ground, people will also see that, you know what, these people have, have support framework from government, or it has a support framework for someone who has not helped us in any way. Mm -hmm. So if this person is, is being supported by somebody who has not helped us and has been in government, mm -hmm. we are not going to support him. Mm -hmm. So it will have some sort of replica effect on some few votes. Or so. And before um, Musalia Mudavadi spoke, we had touched on, uh, we were talking about a UDA and um, whether it can actually try and muscle out the big parties in Western. Why I brought up that conversation, we did see uh, Omar Boga being trounced by Pfizer Bada, who was, uh, who, who was actually had a very, very good uh, campaign with the UDA supporters or sympathizers. He was backed by the deputy president. Are we likely to see such a scenario? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I don't think so, because the situation is different. Mm -hmm. At that time, it was between two political rivals. Mm -hmm. But now we have now political rivals fighting among themselves with a the new entrant. Uh -huh. So the new entrant has more work to do to get themselves into the same level of playing platform with the other rivals. Mm -hmm. So the key players in these, the key players in Western will be totally different from the key players mm -hmm. in Shambuani. It could be uh, thanks for coming. Yes. Uh, and participating. <laughs> we can in consider the them independent candidates. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> of course. We will also look at the, the campaign. We have seen several, several, several incidences of uh, voter bribery. We saw even in television and also oh in social God. media. Yes, yes. Something that we, we expected that uh, all agencies involved would actually try and tame that. Because uh, looking at um, Western, we have ODM, which has been there for quite a while. <coughs> we also have uh, Ford Kenya and ANC, which perhaps the, the, the Mulembe nation could say, these are our own kids, these are our own political parties from Western uh, Kenya. Mm. What do you think uh, is likely to play out? Because looking at um, the galvanization of the Western or the Mulembe nation, uh, we have uh, Musalia Mudavadi, we also have uh, Wetangula, mm. and we, we have uh, key players like Francis Atwoli talking about we want to consolidate our our, our, our voting bloc. Mm. Do you think perhaps uh, they should have done that before this election? Or it's pure democracy when we talk about two big parties in, in the Mulembe nation fighting it out, but uh, we are talking about a unity. Perhaps they should have done what uh, Jubilee and ODM have done in some of the parties, like uh, Jubilee never fielded a, 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 a candidate in Msambweni, and the same thing uh, replicated in, uh, in, 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 in uh, Kawawendani.
where ODM never fielded a candidate. And, and, and that is now because of the, the, heterogene, the heterogeneous situation of the voter, the voter, the voter in, 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 in Western Kenya, mm -hmm. which therefore necessitates that there is need for a much more different mechanism of finding this unity. Of course, this unity is something that has always been sought for for very many years, and mm -hmm. it is not something that you can just get over instantly. Mm -hmm. the, the, there must be a process, there must be a mechanism of achieving that, mm -hmm. and maybe as to whether they will be able to achieve it through what they are doing now, mm -hmm. it is something to really look at, because you know, these are all people who are harboring ambition. Mm -hmm. And when you, come, when you look at the concept of real politic, mm -hmm. and you look at the concept of real politic, that is where the real unity is tested. Mm -hmm. It's not really whether, even, even when you look at the Jubilee and, and the ODM, the way they are doing their swerving, mm -hmm. of, you know, give me this, I take this. It is not really necessarily that, you know, they are seeking unity. Uh, you, can't, you can't really talk about unity at that stage until it reaches the point of real politic, mm -hmm. where we are now saying that, you know what, this is the position, it's only one position, mm -hmm. leave it for me. Mm -hmm. Now that is the true test of unity. Mm -hmm. So as to whether this other machinization will be able to achieve and say that, you know what, mm -hmm. we are saying that, Mudavadi, we are saying that it is support Watangula mm -hmm. for presidency. Yeah. That is the true test of, of unity, the uh -huh. real politic. Uh -huh. yes. But it's quite a democracy looking at all the parties that are jostling for those two big political seats. Well, that one, that one is democracy, that is democracy for them. And, you know, each one of them, as I said, is into this for different to achieve different purposes. Uh -huh. The Mulembe nation has uh, quite some sub-tribe, and uh, <coughs> honestly, they have played a key role in determining the leaders uh, that they have. Looking at um, uh, the two political kingpins there, the Mus the, we have Musalia Mudavadi and we have uh, Moses Masika Wetangula, we have seen some, uh, some parts really side with one uh, political leader yes. and the others, of course, uh, another kingpin. Yes. Is this likely to pr to play out? It, it it has it has played around, and some of this it is extremely historical. Mm -hmm. it, it's extremely historical, and it has also been entrenched mm -hmm. by political interest from outside mm -hmm. and from inside. Mm -hmm. You know, the Luya Nation is a very big bloating, voting block. Yes, and 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 some of the people who wanted to have influence and rule the country mm -hmm. really sought ways of ensuring they divide that region. Yeah. so that they do not have one voice like mm -hmm. other parts of the country. Uh -huh. And so this really has really been entrenched even within the, within the people to the extent that getting, achieving it has become very difficult. Achieving the unity has become very difficult. And mm -hmm. you'll always find that there is always discord, a lot of discord between some of the key sub-ethnic communities mm -hmm. that they do not really want to agree political ideologically with with others mm -hmm. so the unification therefore is a process that cannot just be achieved uh, th th that and they've been seeking a unification for quite a while yeah so it has to be it has to be some process that 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 it must take for it to get it i mean when you look at uh, when you look at 202 that was a time when the, the region was united under Kijana Wamalwa. Yes. And he was able to unify the whole of that, the whole of that, 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 that region. Uh -huh. So it is possible to unify them mm -hmm. as long as there is a, a, a mechanism of doing it. But you know, Kijana Wamalwa was very charismatic and he was very fluent in his speeches and he could be able to galvanize mm -hmm. people in whatever we want to do. Actually, if you listen to him, you'll do whatever he wants you to do. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You're indeed watching Channel One News Check uh, on this third day of March, and today we are looking at the upcoming by-elections. Of course, we expect a lot of uh, debate, and we also expect a lot of uh, heated, uh, heated political temperatures uh, tomorrow when we have the Kabuchai and Matungu by-elections. And of course, I'm talking about heated because uh, looking at what ANC leader Musali Mudavadi has just talked about in regards to tomorrow's elections uh, you can bear me witness that of course it's gonna rattle some feathers and right now he's joined by another governance expert uh, who is uh Wilfred Moliro. Karibu sana. Thank you very much. And indeed, it's we, always uh, a pleasure to be here. Exactly. Thank <laughs> yes, you so yes. much. This it's is a while. I haven't seen you uh, for some while. time. Yes. Yes. We are looking at the Kabuchai and uh, Matungu by election. Yes. And as I had alluded earlier, is that 
the Mulembe Nation has a lot of subscribe, which also play a key role in determining their leaders. Looking at the two seats, uh, one was uh, had an ANC leader and the other had a Ford Kenya leader. Mm. Uh, I think I had uh, what my brother was saying here yeah. and uh, agree to some level with one element that uh, some of the divisions are historical. Mm -hmm. But we need to get one thing, that uh, two in fact. Mm -hmm. Uh, the first one is that uh, uh, the Luya uh, unity story is an, uh, some hot air from outside. Mm -hmm. Because for one reason, that uh, Luya is just like any other member of this uh, republic called Kenya, mm -hmm. uh, are also, you know, they're diverse, like yes. Kalenjins, like mm -hmm. anybody. Mm -hmm. And nobody, you know, even Kikus have had uh, uh, at one time more than four candidates and nobody pumps into their head mm -hmm. or, or, or projects the propaganda that uh, they need that unity. And I'm saying this for one reason, is that, uh, uh, and it comes close to what you were saying, mm -hmm. that uh, the so-called lawyer unit, which should not be the song, mm -hmm. is because the leaders do not go to the people to unite them, they sit in boardrooms and like other places. Mm -hmm. And when they sit in boardrooms to talk about the lawyers, mm -hmm. there's always an outsider. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you try to create a picture that if I cannot have all the lawyers, I have my section which I can sell to you. Mm -hmm. So Railo Dinga, mm -hmm. uh, we can see you are very powerful. I can bring a section of mm -hmm. lawyers. Mm -hmm. I think that's what he was alluding to. Mm -hmm. But the day that they will just allow, you know, it happens. During Masinde Muliro's time, nobody sang the song. They were united. Mm -hmm. Uh, we can talk of even during uh, Moses, who David himself, mm -hmm. lawyers were united in their way of doing things. Mm -hmm. Omalo Kijana, the same, there was all that song. But the time came when now uh, those who did not have the charisma uh, were actually coming up with their own subsections. You know, they, they were now bringing out that if I cannot unite all the lawyers, mm -hmm. I'll bring the Bukusu. Or if I cannot do that, then I'll bring the Maragoli. Mm -hmm. But we are seeing it, and I think I agree to some level with the Msaliam Davadi. Mm -hmm. We have had that uh, hiatus for some time, mm -hmm. but this is a time that the people themselves are going to unite behind a candidate that they think is credible. Mm -hmm. And therefore, a candidate emerges in this process of leader-subject interactions. Mm -hmm. It's not this story that is... And you know, it also surprises me, John, that sometimes the Luya unity is sung louder by people who are not lawyers, they're lawyers themselves. <laughs> but then you look at the other communities, you find that uh, uh, it is not that way. So I agree with the ANC leader that why do you sing the song? Yes. When it comes to lawyers, yeah. you start singing the song that please uh, Lucy. <laughs> and I think even the media also has been bought, but it's, uh, that's a, a system <laughs> yes. of pushing. Whoever has the machinery, it's a politics of uh, content production. Mm -hmm. So whoever has that machinery yes. can do that. So they also play that and say, Luya, elusive, you know, yes. unity. Uh -huh. But it is emerging. It will just be almost like what happened during Omalwa Kijana's uh, time. Organically, the people themselves look at an array of leaders and they say, we think our interests will be uh, projected by this leader. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm saying this in the sense that the leaders are now listening to the to the belt, the barometer of politics on the ground. Mm -hmm. And it is the one now forcing for the first time, mm -hmm. it's forcing the leaders, including, that is Wetangula and Musalem Davati. Mm -hmm. It is now forcing them to do what the community wants. For a long time they have been uh, telling the community to do what they think they want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we can see that. And that's yes. why even the, the idea that Ford Kenya could not field their candidate in Matungu mm -hmm. is the same. I'm mm -hmm. very sure that if they had ANC and Ford Kenya going to, Ma, to Matungu, yes. then you'll have that uh, repercussions. Both will lose. They'll be, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, and yes. I think at that they time don't now, want to be seen yes, at losing. that time, yes. I'm very sure uh, uh, Oparanya will have performed very well. Uh -huh. Even nationally now. Yes. But you see this time where uh, Salim Davide has reached, he cannot, he's now the one to be bending back to carry the rest. Uh -huh. We cannot cheat ourselves, mm -hmm. yes, I think yes, so. Yes. And he's doing that uh, to, to show the, the, the graciousness mm -hmm. in Kabchai, mm -hmm. that now I'm the father of this kral called Luya. Mm -hmm. So my young brother here, you have had, you see it is historical from the time there was a coup mm -hmm. 
So Salem Davadi found an opening to show that he is the leader of the Luyas. Yeah. And uh, you know, a leader is the one who brings people and tries to look at the child who is being hit. He, he brings them. So he stood by uh, Wetangula, because Wetangula has his own also uh, yeah. section that follows him. Yeah. But even if he didn't have that power, it was right for Salem Davadi to stand by a brother who is falling on the ground. Yeah. So he's doing that by allowing him. <laughs> to have a candidate in uh, Kapchai. Yes. And I'm sure I can tell you, if ANC also looked for a candidate mm -hmm. locally uh, from Kapchai, they will still perform very well. Mm -hmm. But uh, at what loss? So in Kapchai, it mm -hmm. is different. Yes. If uh, Wetangula and Msalem David went neck to neck, uh -huh. then um, the new party, uh, that is, I think, Ruto's party, UD, UD, would UD. go through. Yes. But in Matungu is now, it is uh, ODM. I think the picture is in that design, isn't mm -hmm. it? In Matungu, it's Msalem Davadi against ODM. Mm -hmm. And in Kabchai, mm -hmm. it is uh, uh, Msalem Davadi through Wetangula mm -hmm. uh, yes. against the new yes. UDA. Yes. I don't know whether, but that's yes. what I think is on the ground. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, and uh, perhaps uh, away from uh, what we are talking about, because mm -hmm. we've introduced uh, the issue of kingpins. We're looking at um, uh, the, the ODM candidates. Of course, he's backed by the Jubilee because of the handshake. Mm -hmm. We are looking at uh, Moses Masika uh, Wetangula. We are yes, looking yes. at uh, Musalia Mudavadi. We, also, yes. we have touched on Musalia as uh, Mudavadi's father, Moses, and um, of course, the other kingpins who yes. have been there. Yes. And uh, we have a new entrant also, other than UDA, mm. uh, who also wants to be a kingpin, not only in um, the Mulembe nation, but in Kenya, and that is uh, Muhisa Kitui. Yes, 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 and he even left that. his uh, prestigious job at the United Nations because he also wants a piece of the cake, that is the, the presidency. Now his entrant, could have this been his best entrance by supporting perhaps one of the candidates who or backing one of the candidates that is uh, wants to be elected in Matunga, Matungu and mm. Kabuchai. Is it, could it have been the, his entry point? So, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, you know I, I, I think it's good you've raised that, that point. Mm. And, 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 mm. and, and, and because from a political, from a political strategic position, mm -hmm. That would have been the most strategic thing to do as a presidential... To test the waters there. Exactly, yes. as a presidential candidate. Uh -huh. But then I think that from, from, what I, uh, from what I saw even in his... When he was launching his presidential bid, mm -hmm. I would not expect that. Because I think he's still extremely elitist. He's, mm -hmm. still, he's still at the level of the United Nations. Mm -hmm. He's not yet come down. <laughs> yes, uh, to, to, uh, to the ground. <laughs> he's not yet come down into the ground. Yes. You, I mean, you could look during his launch, he was taking selfies with, us, with, a, with a, a stream of cars following him instead uh -huh. of people. Uh -huh. So it, it tells you that the strategy is not really there. Mm -hmm. and, and, and this would have actually been the best opportunity for him mm -hmm. to come out and be, you know, go out and, and also support one of the independent candidates yes. and sell himself uh -huh. so that people can see him as a, as, as, as a serious presidential contender. Uh -huh. Well, whether, because I, ideally he is, he is starting it. So whether he uh -huh. loses or whether he wins, yes. it, it, it's, it's a gain for him. Uh -huh. So I think that was a big loss for him in terms of, of political strategy. Uh -huh. But maybe it uh -huh. could have been, maybe he may have been reined on by one of the, as part of the, 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 uh -huh. the as part of the, 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 the unity call uh -huh. to, to not to do so. But, uh -huh. but I, I don't want to presume that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, uh, perhaps uh, Moliro, you can touch on that. Do you concur yes, with yes. Uh, Churchill or uh, Muhisa Kitu is playing his cards very close to his chest? I think uh, maybe the last part <laughs> that uh, he's observing, as you say, you're very right. Uh, yeah. He's uh, trying to not to, uh, uh, to, you know, brush open, you know, and ravel the feathers. <laughs> And number two, he is coming into a field with a different, he's branding himself differently. Mm -hmm. he, and even when he talked, he said things have been like this. I think I heard him say, uh, mm -hmm. and the rest, we want to change this. Mm -hmm. So he does not want, because he would have easily, <coughs> there was that rumor that uh, he was behind the coup in uh, like uh, Ford Kenya, Ford they, they were uh -huh. preparing and saying, they are doing this to prepare way for 
Mohesa mm Kitui. -hmm. But I think he's kept off from that. Yes. And second, you can remember that uh, Kitui and Msalem Davadi mm -hmm. are still, uh, they are very close. When mm -hmm. Msalem Davadi ran for presidency, mm -hmm. he is a chief campaigner mm -hmm. legally, was uh, Mohesa Kitui. And he delivered in Bungoma mm -hmm. more votes than home where Msalia. Uh, comes from. Mm -hmm. So he's trying also to keep in the mid because, as I told you, this is the time that the people themselves in Western Mlembe Nation mm -hmm. have a, desti a destiny that they are seeing maybe it will make sense. Mm -hmm. And therefore, if you come in and you want to project yourself as somebody or already trying to stir the waters mm -hmm. that have been there, then you can easily find yourself in a very dead uh, silo in mm -hmm. a corner. Mm -hmm. But we can say this, uh, I think. Uh, uh, where I may disagree with Churchill is that uh, it is, if I were Kitui, I would do the same. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at uh, Mohuza Kitui, is, uh, uh, his bid is, this is a person for the future. If you look at him, the potential for after 2022 is greater than even now. Mm -hmm. Now maybe it is the, the, the idea of he'll do a lot of boardroom, uh, mm -hmm. not grassroots. Mm -hmm. He has come from the top. So he may rely on ideas of boardroom negotiations to sell him at the grassroots. Uh -huh. But when you look at he, his other uh, counterparts in Western, like mm -hmm. um, Salim Davadi, those are people who have infrastructure mm -hmm. on the ground with the people. So uh, getting the boardroom discussion is easier. Mm -hmm. But I think it's okay, it's okay for him, as he says, <laughs> yes. to keep off whether they win or lose. <laughs> he just uh, keeps. He doesn't uh, in any way. So as uh, not to appear uh, uh, like a regional king. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think he's come with a very good, you're right, that uh, uh, you, as you said, he's international, but he wants to be now very national <laughs> yes. with international uh, touch. Uh -huh. So he doesn't want, and I think he even mentioned that when somebody said he doesn't attend funerals, and mm -hmm. he said, yes, I, I don't want to be a, a, a funeral hero. Yes. I am not running for presidency to be a hero of funerals. <laughs> but, yes. so, but, <laughs> but the only challenge, I agree, but, yeah. I agree with what he's saying, uh -huh. but the only challenge with that is the reality yes. that exists, especially yeah. when it now comes to the real politics. Yes. yes. In, the, in the ultimate, in the ulti that might help some now, <laughs> yes. but, but the dynamism of politics mm -hmm might make that not relevant when he thinks it should have been relevant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And perhaps away from uh, politics, uh, uh, people of Kabuchai and people of um, Matung. Matung. Basically, Matung. let's talk about Western. Uh, we have a lot of um, farming, and especially when you talk about sugar mm. and sugarcane farming. Any leader touching on that is a very sensitive issue because looking at uh, companies, a lot of companies have, uh, have, have drowned in, mm. in debts and mm. uh, mismanagement. Mm. Can that perhaps be an entry point for any leader that who wants to tap into the votes of the Western rich? Okay. Murilo. Yeah. Uh, yes or no? Mm -hmm. But uh, it, is, uh, it is yes because of what you have said. Mm -hmm. uh, practically, um, people look at their co-economic uh, subsistence way of life mm -hmm. and politicians know how to pick them out. So you look at that and say for us it is Mira, then you go with it because yeah. that's where commonly people subsist on. Mm -hmm. uh, so in Western you can easily, for a long time it, that has been the song mm -hmm. and that's why I say yes or no, that you can easily quote the ideas of sugarcane and, mm -hmm. and, and, and the rest mm -hmm. then look very great. But no, because that is now a dead, tired song. Mm -hmm. And also it is dangerous for these key leaders. Mm -hmm. If you look at Wetangula, you look at uh, Moses, Msa uh, you look at Wycliffe, mm -hmm. as Msalia Mdavadi. Mm -hmm. They may not uh, want that song to come up uh, so much because people may ask. Mm -hmm. that these are people who are, even uh, Dr. Kitui himself also, mm -hmm. he was, these have been ministers in key positions that would have, if, uh, historically, the times when those factories were working very well, yes. if they had put in their hand, mm -hmm. maybe something would have happened. Mm -hmm. So uh, it will be a better song for young politicians like Cleophas Malala. They can sell with that. Mm -hmm. But if you observe very well the key politicians, they have and you see they back. try to miff that idea uh -huh. and say we are solving it, even you saw how Oparanya did that, it is a debut president who is using that song to enter Western. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you as a kingpin of Western, you may not want to use that song mm -hmm. of Sugar King.
maybe you may want to use something else. And I've heard even from the sidelines mm -hmm. uh, stories such as uh, sugarcane is a, 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 a slave uh, uh, plantation. Mm -hmm. uh, we can diversify mm -hmm. uh, into other areas. You see that? Mm -hmm. and, and it makes sense also, but politically, that should be the idea. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you, do, do you concur? And, and, and you know, the, 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 the issue is that sugarcane has caught so many people. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is sort of touching on so many people, especially mm -hmm. at the political level. Mm -hmm. And people have failed to deliver. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at the sugar task force yes. that was chaired by Oparanya. Oparanya, yes. So you see, if you didn't, if you didn't deliver on it, mm -hmm. then why do you want to promise us that when we bring this candidate, it is going to make sugar industry too. So it is, it is, it is a hot issue that no politician might want to touch, especially those who are, those who are, those who are existing. Mm -hmm. But I think that it is, it is one thing that really needs to be sought because mm -hmm. the sugar se sector really touches on a big part of Western Kenya, and it's mm -hmm. not just the Western region; it's mm -hmm. Western and Nyanza and even mm -hmm. parts of Rift Valley. Yes, mm -hmm. and 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 I think that. For a long time, it really solved the economic activities of so many of the populace of those who live around that place. Mm -hmm. And if there was really proper leadership mm -hmm. that was endeavoring to help the people of that region, mm -hmm. that would really be the best thing. But I, I think that it will be too much for uh, it will be too much for uh, a member of parliament to claim mm -hmm. that he wants to is vying because he's going to solve the, the, <laughs> the sugar sector. Mm -hmm. It has not worked. Yes, it's really yes. historical. And and uh, and other, of course, economic activities there. And perhaps Molira, let me let me direct this question uh, to you, Churchill. Uh, uh, of course, uh, talking about uh, UDA. Mm -hmm. um, they're just testing their waters. <coughs> they they don't stand a chance. Mm. What's your what's your comment on that? Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not easy to just have looking that at, actually looking at the to pattern. have that dismissive. Uh, yes, looking at the pattern. Yes, that, 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 that Ford Kenya ANC ODM, Ford Kenya ANC ODM. Are we likely to see the same pattern, or the entrant of UDA can pull surprises that like they did in Msambweni? Because uh, although the candidate was an independent candidate, he was backed by by members of the of, of, who are allied to UDA. Mm. And, 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 and for a slight difference is that in Matungu and Kabchai, mm -hmm. they are now clear. It's not uh, like a, a like hiding behind yes. an independent candidate. Mm -hmm. there, there are some things that come with being an independent candidate. You know, neutrality, you are not attached, although people are behind you. Mm -hmm. So less uh, controversial. So there are some undecided people who can easily say, we go for this uh, independent person. Mm -hmm. But now they are in the field. Mm -hmm. They are now in the mud. Clearly, it is UDA. And, and the perception is uh, you could see the weight that uh, Msalia Mdavadi uh, brought in. So it looked like I have these people behind me to face this man called uh, uh, the debut president. Mm -hmm. And the, that is why he has brought his parties mm -hmm. uh, here, uh, beginning with Kapchai Ware. Uh, UDA appears to be now, you know, uh, a bit stronger than in uh, the Matungu. Matungu it is ODM that is neck to neck with the uh, uh, ANC, ANC leading. So he comes, and the, the, the idea is that uh, people look at that in terms of what is our national stake. Mm -hmm. And they have been hoping that. I saw the last uh, uh, speech with Tangula telling them this is a measure of. Mlembe unity, mm -hmm. Kabchai, yes. the way you will vote. Yes. And, and Msali was talking about it is from here that we have, it is not just, you are not just voting down here. Yes. It is about the big seat on the hill. Mm -hmm. And people listen, people, you know, understand that and they know that uh, uh, the biggest uh, opponent of our candidate is uh, William Ruto. Mm -hmm. Because if it was an independent person, it would have been better. Or maybe if it was clearly Jubilee because there are those traces. Mm -hmm. Jubilee, you can say now this is the president the also president. bringing yeah. his person mm -hmm. and, and that. But this is clearly a wing bringing their person. And you know the president is not running. But this is a, a, a straight yes. opponent of your person uh, at the national uh, level. So I'm seeing, uh, I cannot say with finality, but I'm seeing uh, two things about UDA that one, uh, they may not mm -hmm. 
uh, get any of the seats there. And as you mentioned, number two, the idea is let people know. You know, you're, you're not just testing the waters. You are actually campaigning for two. Them, they are not campaigning for this seat. Yes. The way I look at them, mm -hmm. the way it is happening, is they are campaigning for 2022. Mm -hmm. They have now a forum to introduce their party to the people and know whether uh, it holds uh, roots and therefore do even recruitment as they are campaigning. Mm -hmm. supplying their seizure. This is the only time they are finding that opportunity yes. where they can do that. And I think uh, even like in Matungu, uh, I don't know. Some have heard on the ground that uh, because of the difficult, uh, very close uh, move, maybe a third person might easily come in. But mm -hmm. in my view, the candidate himself, may, uh, they, may ha they needed to settle on a... If they had taken, because they wanted the, the ANC candidate, I think they were the first ones, mm. but this person uh, was heavily convinced by ANC leaders and also the fact that uh, Musali Mdavadi has emerged, actually, mm. as the Western leader. Mm. Uh, so you have more future mm. hiding under the umbrella of uh, ANC. Than, and you know, uh, he was number two running on Ford Kenya. So when Ford Kenya said it's supporting ANC, he was almost going to the other side mm -hmm. of UDA. They know how to pick candidates. But the reality on the ground made him go for ANC. And that means uh, that seat is for ANC to keep. Yeah, but uh, do yeah. they have really an impact there, Churchill? Uh, uh, yes. Will they make a, a clear intention that yes. we are here to stay? Yes. For me, I think that the, the intention to popularize the party is going to work in terms of impact. The mm -hmm. other thing is that they might also achieve in terms of if you know one of their very strong political strategy has been the oiling strategy mm -hmm. which somehow really worked perfectly in 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 mm -hmm. and and that can actually work if to get them have more votes mm -hmm. just to show a statement i mean mm -hmm. if they come third that will be a very strong statement for the party so if if they put their strategy in terms of uh, in in terms of you know the oiling the public or oiling the voters, mm -hmm. they'll actually get they'll actually get uh, you know you know when you when you do the comparison and I like what 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 uh, what my colleague has said mm -hmm. the in Sambuene the. The, the independent candidate who won mm -hmm. was actually somebody who was sort of had a problem with the with ODM, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so they went very fast and grabbed him. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the guy was not coming as an unstart. Uh huh. He was already very popular. Yes. So the only thing they was they rode on that exactly. So uh -huh. the only thing was to convince him that you know what, don't vote for that party, vote for this guy. Mm -hmm. And it is very good that. The, the ANC was able to counter that mm -hmm. in, 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 in Matungu. Matungu yes. Because it would also have had a strong impact. Remember some of these candidates, apart from the fact that they are riding on, on they are riding behind kingpins, and they are riding behind the political parties, mm -hmm. they also have their own support base mm -hmm. that is drawn from their own clans uh -huh. that is behind them. Yes. So that one you cannot also, we cannot also overshadow. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that it, 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 uh, in terms of making a statement as a national political party mm -hmm. that is up for grabs in any part of the country, UDA is going to make that statement. But then in terms of the winning election, that one I can be very sure. <laughs> <laughs> and you can call me back yes. into this studio. <laughs> yeah. I pull a surprise places. like I did in Sambuene. Anyway, gentlemen, we continue with this uh, conversation. Mm. I see well done, Kirui, you are following live. Maina Wanyeri, you're watching from Nyeri. Thank you so much. Collins Kepkemoi Kirui, watching from Kericho Litain. Uh, Maina uh, Timothy Makweba, watching from Lord Wa Town. Remember, we are live on Facebook, on the YouTube. On uh, also our KBC app and live from the broadcasting house here in the county of Nairobi. We're taking another short quick break. We'll be right back.